So, what happened? Nothing much. We did what people usually do during funeral. Did you meet her? She was. She looked like she had Indian blood with her sharp nose and deep set eyes, thickly bordered by long lashes. Just like mom, she still maintained a slim figure though she already had children. I am Sylvia. Everyone makes mistakes, Lisa. Hmm, I think there was enough now. I don't think she's as pretty as mom though. Where was your dad when she was talking to you? Oh, he was sleeping in one of the bedrooms. Mom did not want to wake him up because they told her he had not slept for two nights straight. Hi, your mother tell a girl. When he saw me, Sylvia had been already called away to entertain some of the visitors. Was he surprised to see you? No. He requested mom to make me go there. No choice then, huh? Nope. I'm glad you came. Did you cry? No. What's next? The salt. Is that all? Uh huh. Your mom and I prefer it a bit saltier, but your dad likes it this way. It was an hour I think. Father Mario said that we shouldn't feel sad because Lem is, is assured of going to a better place because he was such a good child. Good. I thought, unlike me, whom he always called Sin Vergüenza, the shameless daughter. Stop it now, Lisa! Any more of that mashing and you will be putting bits of your own flesh and bone in there. All of this will be needed for the sinigang. Prepare this while you're softening the meat. 
You go and finish up here. I will just go to my room and stretch my back out a bit. When I was a child, before Tita Loleng had chosen to stay with us, my mom used to do the cooking, and she would have Meg and I sit beside her while she readied the meals. I remember that whenever it came to any dish involving kangkong, I would always insist on preparing it because I love the crisp popping sound the vegetable made whenever I broke off a stem. It was on one such occasion. I was in second year high school by then but still insistent on kangkong preparation. When mom and divulged the truth about the boy who kept calling dad on the phone every day at home, Meg had also seen there breaking up string beans into two inch sections. Neither of us had reacted much then, but between us, I knew I was more affected by what mom had said because right until then, I had always been daddy's girl. which will taste good until one has tried it. I mean, some people cook sinigang with guavas, some with pancakes. It is a dish whose recipe would depend mostly on the taste of those who live through the eating. Would he be the same if I was the one who had died? The sinigang would be served later during dinner. I picture myself seated in my usual place beside my father who is at the head of the table. He would tell mom about his stay and then he would ask each of us about our own. I would answer not in the animated way I would have done when I was still young and his pet, but politely and without any rancor. Then he would compliment me on the way I had cooked his favorite dish, and I would give him a smile that would never quite show, not even in my eyes. Okay. <laughs> 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 
What did she tell you? Nothing much. What did she look like? Oh, Oy, wait, wait, wait. Wait. I don't think she's as pretty as mom though. <laughs> Go. <laughs> we shouldn't feel sad because Mem is assured. <laughs> Father Mario said that we shouldn't feel sad because Mem is assured of going to a better place because he was he was such a good child. <laughs> Father Mario said that we should keep <laughs> Stop it, Nalisa! What's that? <laughs> so, how's your work? Okay lang bre. Wow.